Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a new moon in Aries general reading for my dearest Scorpios. Scorpio, we're going to take a look at what general messages Spirit would like you to hear for this upcoming lunation. And we're going to start with some oracle cards. What you need more of with this Aries new moon cycle. If these messages do resonate, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So we have intuition, ooh, caretaker, and contact. Okay, very interesting. We'll get to these in a moment. Okay, now we're going to take a look at your overall general energy for the next couple of weeks. And we will go in and clarify, so don't worry. All right, so we've got high priestess energy, so Pisces, Cancer energy, but more so it's that intuition, trusting that scorpionic intuition. Your challenges, we have the Empress, okay? Opportunities, wow, all major arcana, Scorpio, the Hermit card, okay? What you don't see coming, the Ace of Swords. Mm. And your advice, we have the Seven of Pentacles, Ooh, okay. And we have the Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I feel some of my Scorpios here, you've definitely been holding back or holding on to someone or something. Could be this Empress energy, Taurus Libra energy. It doesn't have to be. Um, but let's take a look at your overall energy first, what you need more of. So we see this beautiful energy or frequency of intuition. So my Scorpio is out there. This is about really doing that third eye chakra cleansing, balancing, awakening, trusting your intuition. I mean, Scorpios are the most intuitive sign of the Zodiac or one of the most intuitive signs of the Zodiac along with Cancer Pisces. And I, I do feel like I'm connecting with some of my Scorpios that may have like a Cancer moon or a Pisces moon or you have really strong water placements, but it's not gonna be for all of you. Now, I'm seeing here there's a need for you to really protect your energy with this caretaker. Um, and this could be too, my Scorpios, making sure that you haven't, lost yourselves in this empress energy as far as somebody else or a connection I'm kind of getting but it could be like in a job or a path that you know that you you felt like was really going to grow if you were like really married to um like a certain version of your life or your career um spirit's telling you just to make sure that you haven't lost yourself in whatever this empress might represent for you could be a Taurus or a Libran person but really the ener it's more of an energy than a signs read. So it's about really finding balance with this caretaker energy. You know, for some of you, this could be about, you know, being a parent or, you know, like losing yourself in, well, in, in whatever path that might be for you. For some of you, it has to do with children or parents. Um, but your caretaker energy is like also about like trusting your intuition about like what is and isn't working for you anymore, or if there's anything new coming into your life, um, like anything here that trusting like what's what's good for you and what isn't, uh, you already know. And for those of you, like it could be a particular relationship or a situation, because I'm seeing you have this opportunity to see this snake energy. Okay, maybe somebody's hasn't been completely honest, or they're not who who they portray themselves to be or they're not who you wanted them to be. And so it's about seeing it very clearly because what you're not seeing is there was something here that there was something here that wasn't clear to you. And, it, and it's possible that there was some sort of deception or there were some sort of secrets around this Empress energy. Um, you know, and it could be, you know, it could be like with a business partner or it could be that somebody sold you an idea be careful of somebody who may be future faking or selling you an idea of who they are or what your life would be like with this person or, you know, what it would be like to work for this company or what it would be like to join this particular group. Um, really, it could be anything. 
because I am getting for some of my Scorpios, it could be there, there may, and this is not for everyone, but there may have been a particular like spiritual group that isn't quite what they seem to be. So just keep that in mind, okay? Um, so we have this energy of contact coming through and this is also like what you need like so like you have this really powerful intuition Scorpio and this is what the frequencies that you need more of with this upcoming lunation um but spirit saying that like you're like the the great synchronicities and the alignment of faded events is dependent on our contact and our connections with other people um, and so it's important for you to make some sort of contact with someone in particular in your life. Um, and it could be like making that phone call, sending that email or that text message or showing up in person. Um, and it may be something that you've been procrastinating doing um, and or, or something that you've been resisting doing. Um, but this card and this frequency is just asking you to look at whatever resistance you might have and gently push yourself forward to do what needs to be done. Um, and it could be contacting someone or dealing with an emotional issue that you would rather avoid, but Spirit's saying it's time not to avoid that. And this Aries energy is really supporting you to like kind of have no bones about it and give you that strength and that courage to have these like tough conversations. Um... You know, it could be something as simple as like, you know, do you fear like making a business call? Um, but like energetically in doing this or making this contact, you're going to be free to set up, set yourself up and align yourself for this next step of the journey. And be and just be very mindful of the energy surrounding anyone you connect with, um, especially if there are signs and there are synchronicities. Um, because it does feel like this is some sort of important lesson, whether it's, you know, you feel like it's positive or negative, it's an important lesson that you're meant to learn on your path. So for some of you, like, and I like that because what you don't see coming is also this energy of contact. And it's about having a, a conversation that most likely you don't want to have, Scorpio. Um, and it's about seeing things that maybe you didn't even want to see about this person or about the situation. So let's see. The High Priestess energy is the overall energy, trusting your intuition. And there's also, there are like some secrets that are going to be revealed to you is what I'm seeing. Um, maybe through this contact, like, you know, it's like no longer making assumptions and like getting to the, the heart of the matter, seeing things for what they truly are. So let's see. The overall energy for my Scorpios is the High Priestess. Yeah, we get the Four of Pentacles coming through again. You know, and you may have also, Scorpio, like you might be holding back or holding on to certain secrets that need to be that, that need to be talked about, that need to be released, you know, maybe your feelings towards someone or what you really want out of this particular relationship or life or career, all right? And we see the King of Cups, yeah. So I feel like this is, again, that strong energy of, you know, for some of my Scorpios, it may be really about setting boundaries in a particular relationship with this Empress, Male or female, it doesn't matter, but it's like the King of Cups is like very intuitive, creative, and he's making this offer. I see that cup as like making this contact, letting like letting people or, or the people that need to be let in on what you're really truly feeling, wanting, thinking. And for some of you, it is just about reaching out and doing that thing that you know you need to do that's going to set you up and put you in alignment for this next part of your journey but it needs to be done like so no more procrastinating is what I'm getting and it really could be like something very simple like doing your taxes or making that business call or sending that email to your boss and for others of you it's within this particular relationship here with this empress energy um and so this is your challenge here is your empress energy so maybe it's about again setting strong boundaries Scorpio 
needing to, you know, tell your boss, you don't want to work all that overtime. You're not getting paid enough or, you know, you don't want to work weekends. You want to spend time with your family um, or setting boundaries within a particular relationship. Maybe having a conversation with your partner about what you really want out of life and the relationship. And if you're in alignment, yeah. See, I feel like also there's there's a challenge here for my Scorpios to shift their energy from what might potentially be lost and disappointing to shifting to what you what you potentially gain from making this contact. Okay, by trusting your intuition, taking care of yourself because a lot of you I feel like there's something here about setting boundaries with somebody in your life and And you may be worried about like losing or upsetting this person. But what I'm seeing is like, you know, like it's there's you need to focus on like the importance of what it is you need to say. Um, and intuitively you already know what that is. But focus on like the positive outcome of having this conversation or setting these boundaries or, you know, making this call or, you know, doing your taxes. So instead of focusing on like how much like, oh, my God, it's scary. It's so boring. It's so tedious. It's. You know, it's the worst thing in the world. Think about like what do, in doing them sets you free, like how it might set you free. Okay. If that makes sense to like, all right, to, you know, to know where you stand financially or to, you know, it's just like looking at the, at the positives more than the negatives, what you stand to gain versus what you stand to lose. Yeah. And we see the devil energy. So for some of you, um, you know, it may have to do with addictive thoughts or behaviors or unhealthy patterns. You know, for some of you, there are some challenges here of, you know, some health challenges or like if you have unhealthy coping mechanisms, um, you know, the empress is, you know, it, you know, the empress lives cleanly. She's healthy. She's ready to grow. So really taking a look at anything here that that might not be serving you, you know, relationships, behaviors, thought patterns. Um, it could involve a Taurus, Libra or a Capricorn person, although it doesn't have to. Um, and, and it may just be really anything Scorpio here that you're, you may have been giving your power away to. So your opportunities, we have the Hermit card. I like this because it's Virgo energy and it's like looking at the details, but it's also seeing the serpent energy, like what you need to, what solutions, what you need to see in order to move to ascend, you know, because the serpent there is in the figure eight, which is an energy of ascension. But what you need to get past this, um, you know, and it looks like there is a little bit of like a like there's an obstacle here. And like, why is this obstacle here? What is it that you need to see clearly or what is it that you need to see differently? Yeah. And so you, you're going you're protected. That's what I'm hearing from this. You have an opportunity to move forward on the on a path that's fully in alignment with you and you're protected on like you're protected on this journey knight of pentacles i mean he's in full armor but he's also moving towards you know stability um moving towards you know the life that you know he or she wants to lead yeah and you're manifesting there's possibility of travel but i'm also seeing like a lot of communication um communication about what you need to feel safe in your situation whether that's emotionally or financially or even physically right um but i like this because it's like you're manifesting something you're manifesting forward movement and it's almost like once you make this contact once you let go of like the fears and inhibitions around it things are going to really speed up but they're do but it's like it's happening in the right way cuz the 8 of wands are wands of love their intention their manifestation their forward movement they're a lot happening really fast but we've got it anchored here by the knight of pentacles so like slow and steady planning organizing looking at all the details so it's kind of like the perfect marriage there of you know of planning and organization and putting one foot in front of the other and you know and things happening very quickly and very passionately so i love that i love that for my scorpios what you don't see coming is some sort of truth or maybe a message um, and again, maybe it's on the heels of making this contact, getting information that you need that puts you in alignment for the next step in your journey. And the Queen of Wands, it could be coming from a fire sign, um, an Aries, Leo, or Sag. 
Um, let's see. And we get the moon, all right? And somebody that may have cancer or Pisces in their chart. What I'm seeing here is like what has been hidden from you is going to be revealed, but it's going to take courage. I feel like with the Queen of Wands, though, you know, she can kind of handle anything that comes her way. And I also feel that there may be some sort of communication coming from someone else if you open up the door and trust your intuition and know that this conversation needs to be had. And it's going to have like a much more positive outcome. It's going to be like setting the record straight. It's going to be about seeing things, seeing things very clearly. And and again, the moon energy tells me, yeah, there there may have been certain things that were hidden. And that could be on your part or on somebody else's part. But um, it's like, again, she's, she's got this wand. She's protected. She has what she needs to move forward passionately. And what you're getting is clarity. Clarity. And, and you're getting clarity and you're seeing things for what they are. You're um, seeing through any sort of, you know, any sort of fears or illusion. Um, and, and, yeah, I love it. And it's, and it's, it's you no longer holding back getting ready, something, getting ready for this next step, this next new era for you. And with the seven of pentacles here as your advice, it's like, there's a need to like plan and to organize like what it is you're going to say, or how you're going to move forward. And we do need to look to the past um, for that. But it's like interesting, because she's like, she feels like a little, this this woman, she's a little bit older, she's a little bit tired, you know, her basket is empty, and I kind of feel like these are your challenges, because I do think that there's something here that's been draining your energy, but you've been, like, pushing forward anyways, Scorpio, and I feel like Spirit's saying, like, things can be a lot easier once we see that path forward clearly, yeah. You you have you have a new beginning. You're ending. It's like the end of an era, something that you've been waiting for coming your way. And you have all the tools that you need. There's a there's a certain magic around this, whatever this is that you're manifesting. And you know, with the nine of swords here, I can see like it's it's been you're really in your head about this. There's something here that gives you a little bit of nervousness or anxiety to either make this contact or to push forward. But it's like you're you have this opportunity to, to see things clearly in spirit, telling you that you're protected and you're fully capable and fully ready to start this new journey, and you have all of the tools that you need. Everything's in alignment for this to take place. Okay. All right, let's see what uh what other advice we have for my dear Scorpios, please. Okay. So I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So I, there may be certain people that, um, like I would just be aware also of like, they're, of, of telling people about the next steps in your journey. Um, I, I know that's kind of a weird message to come through, but I do see that like this is such powerful energy like of you achieving something that you've always really wanted to achieve. And so there, not everybody is necessarily going to be really happy for you. So just be aware of that. And like I said, just sort of pay attention to what energy you let in and what you don't let in, the people you talk to. Um, but also I feel like this is about like not being too hard on yourself, Scorpio. Like, you just have different challenges, but, you know, we're all made of stardust, right? We all have, you know, we're the same as everybody, but we do have a different path and different challenges. So don't beat yourself up about whatever this devil energy might be or anything that's been draining your energy. Or if you feel like, wow, you know, I wish I had seen this earlier. I wish I had spoken up earlier. Um, release any beliefs that don't assist in your soul's growth. So releasing guilt as well. Yeah, because there's something here that you do need to let go of guilt, but maybe you're letting go of a, you know, of of a person, you know, a situation that just doesn't work for you or, or, or isn't happy or healthy, um, you know, or, you know, a particular job or something like that, because you do have this beautiful forward movement and it's, it's movement towards success. <laughs> and as I said that we get success. I know that there's no greater goal than to love and it first comes with self-love Scorpio. So we have this energy of purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Yeah. And and I do think that 
you are aligning with your true soul's path and purpose here. But there's like this one sort of obstacle or this contact that needs to be made in order to, you know, to really start you on this next leg of the journey is what I'm hearing. All right, let's see what else my Scorpios need to hear at this time. What else do my Scorpios need to hear at this time? Blue, activate your healing power. So 37 breaks down to a number 10. So this is also going to be quite healing for you. I mean, we see that with the five of cups and the devil energy. Some of you, you're going through a deep transformation at the cellular level. Some of you, it's like a detox, a cleanse. Strength in your body. Yep. So again, that's about really really doing what's necessary here, Scorpio, to heal and to be as powerful as you can be as you step onto this new path. Um, you know, people who are, you know, complete beasts with their careers, um, you know, whether it's, you know, whether it's a CEO or it's somebody with their own business. I mean, one of the things that successful people do is they take very good care of their physical body because it's what's necessary in order to really catapult catapult or propel themselves forward. I mean, obviously not everybody is going to be like a gym rat who's, you know, but I'm saying, but it is really important to pay attention to your physical vessel that's going to help you on this path to success um, and take action. So Spirit's saying it is time. This Aries energy is definitely activating and helping you to step step forward and to take action take action on healing, take action on eliminating people and situations or behaviors that, you know, are keeping you stuck or stagnant or depleted. And yeah, connect to body, mind, and soul. Lavender energy. 44 is another number here indicating that my Scorpios, you are very protected on this journey. Um, and also you, you need to take steps that while you're making these changes or these shifts, um, there may be some, you know, some nervousness that comes along with that. So lavender is really great for, you know, like sedation or common properties, if you will. So you could, it might be very helpful for some of my Scorpios to work with, you know, essential oils, lavender in particular, or, you know, sometimes you can get lavender and put it under a pillow um, just to help you sort of relax and rejuvenate and just come into alignment all right, so let's see what final messages we have for my Scorpios, please. So yes, just say yes. Yeah, just say yes. Say yes. It's time to make this make this contact. It's time to take action. It's time to start this new journey. And Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. So the Divine is setting up, setting you up to be successful. And so you need to focus on the positive outcomes here. Now, it doesn't mean that you don't plan or you don't, you know, we have to plan for things not always going our way, but at the same time, like don't focus on all the things that could possibly go wrong. Like focus on all the things that could possibly go right and how fantastic it would be, all right? And you're already doing it. So stop overthinking, keep facing your true north and Scorpios, I'm just saying it's time to take action. You're freeing yourself. You're releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So you're freeing yourself up by making this contact, by taking this action, and stepping onto this, basically this new timeline. All right, Scorpios, I'm going to leave it here. Sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Scorpios. Take care.